Flags up, and away they go. If anything, Phantom of the Forest probably could have got a better start. He's on the back foot early on. First to land, running his Mother of Pearl straight into a one length advantage. Captain TikTok, red sleeves and white caps on the inside. Edward Ryan knows a lot about it. Got the red sleeves towards the outside, got two to make up. Then Let's Go Global, behind that is Air Fusion. Destination unknown, tincture time. And looking for Phantom of the Forest, that's now about four or five lengths off them. Come towards the outside for a run with 600 meters left to go. Edward Ryan moves into contest. Mother of Pearl on the inside. Phantom of the Forest is now being asked to run, but it's Mother of Pearl who now comes back into the lead with Edward Rye on the outside. Phantom of the Forest got three to make up, five lengths away to Let's Go Global, but Mother of Pearl as well as Edward Rye come to the lead at the 200. Mother of Pearl on the inside, Edward Rye. Mother of Pearl needs to stay in a straight line. Edward Rye is on the outside running a cracker. Mother of Pearl got to the lead. Mother of Pearl from Edward Rye, very close. We need the judge over here. Phantom of the Forest was in third and then Captain TikTok in fourth. All right, so nine has been put into the frame by the judge over here. Smack bang in the center, red sleeves, red cap, mother of pearl. Just starts to run towards the inside. Like I said, more greenness than anything. Looking for a bit of company. Keegan DeMello has been able to do or get this one home. I'm not sure who jumped as your toad favorite. But I'm sure many of the viewers out there would have been on Mother of Pearl to get the job done. Well done to the Werners family. Well done to Johan Janse van Feeren. And it's that man again, Keegan DeMello, who continues to impress. All right, so I'm going to hand you back to the studio. Like I say, apologies again for the voice today. We have come down with a bit of flu, but we'll get through today's meeting. And I hope this will start the viewers' day on a good note. Number nine, Mother of Pearl comes through to win for the Johann Jans von Furen stable. Werner's colours to the fore. This one bred, to the Volk, bred by Volker Bostrift and Ritzfontein. They have already got their ROA check, thanks to uh, Natalie. They've got their check, and don't forget all maidens on the Haarfeld and in the Eastern Cape. They uh, do receive this ROA bonus check, so join the ROA and get that check, and they're over there having a glass of champagne. Keegan the Mello aboard, uh, Mr. Wilson, nice to see him in course as well, and well done, nice start to the day. Yeah, very nice start. Uh, look, um I think she would have been a very unlucky loser if she got beat today. She started wandering around the last bit, but uh, I thought she had done enough the halfway through the race. She pretty much um, managed the race throughout, and uh, she gave me a good kick. She just had to improve by a length or two to win this race, really, didn't she? Yeah, last time it, I think it was also a distance a little bit too short of her best, you know, and uh, like um, Johan would probably allude to that, she, she was probably need to get on the race course and get racing, and uh, that brought her on where they wanted her today. And uh, like I said, pretty much easy from the gates. The gates opened, she was very quick, and I didn't try restraining her, I just tried to give her a soft lead. And when it was time to quicken, she quickened well. Just before you um, chat about these colours quickly, um, anything that stands out for you today? I'm going to ask Johan about his, but anything that stands out for you? Look, I think Johan will speak about those ones, but I do think um, Hamdinga was um, probably my next best, uh, if not my best on the day. Thanks, Kiggs. Thank you very much. Just well done to, um, obviously, Mr. Werners and his family, big supporters of mine, and I can't say thank you enough, and to, obviously, Mr. Wilson and, uh, and, and the rest of the guys, just thank you very much. I just really appreciate the sport, and to Johan and his team, very big well done to my sponsors winning for him. Thank you very much. Just before you go, how's it going out there? Yeah, it is nice. Um, still, a, it's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be quick today. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Kiggs, and a bit of a tailwind as well. You had a lovely start today, first and second. Um, yeah, I mean, you're pleased with both of them, obviously. Yeah, uh, two very nice, nice horses. Um, Edward was a precocious two-year-old, and um, I tried to get him last, really last year, and he went a bit wrong, and we had to back off and start over. And Mother of Paul was probably ready four months ago, was showing you any work, and unfortunately one morning she bled, so we backed off her and started over, you know. Um, these things happen, that's why I put so many of them together, you know. This, um, we weren't really going to... To back anything today, otherwise I wouldn't run them run them together. But um, I'm glad she, um, yeah, she did it well. Um, yes, pricked in front. You know, there wasn't a lot of speed. There wasn't something challenging her. Um, so it worked out for her. She didn't exert herself, and and obviously makes it less chance of her bleeding. You know, and then and then Edward, um, he moved better than than I thought he would. Um, so happy Randall came to working for me on, I think it was Friday morning, he said he wasn't moving well. So um, we got the farrier with him, he's got feet issues. So, um, we've had a lot of rain this year and listen, like last year, we're struggling with a lot of horses' feet at the moment. Um, but yeah, I thank you to Roly for, he was here Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, poulticing them and, and getting them ready. And um, yeah, I'm just glad for, for everybody. I, th I think if we didn't have to win this, 
Uh, the, the, our best chance on the day was probably race one to have a winner, you know. Nothing stood out for the rest of the day. Um, Lord Nelson, probably minor money. He, he's a nice workhorse at home. He works better than his two runs. Um, I'm hoping it's immaturity. Um, so maybe minor money there. And then Fast Love is doing really, really well. He's a superb workhorse. I've said it many, many times before. He really flies at home. Um, it's just it's a competitive race, you know. And... Um, yeah, it's quick, so it might help him a little bit. That's his strip, 1,400, and um, he, he just does it hard. Stand side today, up the hill, I just don't know how, how hard he goes. You know, if he goes too hard, they're going to catch him. If he doesn't, he'll be, he'll be closer, but he's re working really well. Thanks for the info. One more question. This uh, beautifully bred number eight, the gathering, obviously the money, you're not there. Um, disappointing. Um, well, is there anything wrong with him? Yeah, he, uh, he was also, he was actually carded about a year ago and um, he gave us a winning gallop and I think he would have won first time out. And um, about a week before the race, he went sore on his knees and I've struggled with him ever since. And I saw when he pulled him out race today. I'll go check up now, but we're probably going to call it today with him. Um, there's no point persevering. That When he went down today, I thought this is the best I've had him moving in a year. So if, he, if that's how good he moves and the jockey still don't feel comfortable, then, then sometimes it's just better to call it today, you know. Thank you, Johan. Awesome, thank you. Really appreciate you, Hans. In, in put here to race number one is other runners. Fast Love, possibly the next best with Lord Nelson. The number is nine, six, one, and four. That's the first leg of the bipod. PA race two, coming up next.